Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Sensei Steve Says, hosted by Shaggy Doe Martial Arts. Uh, today's Thursday, so we're going to be working on some sparring drills today. Uh, I got a couple of interesting ones for you. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through all of them and how to set them up and how to do them. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to time them out for uh, me and my students. If you want to follow along and use my timing, feel free to do that. Um, or if you'd rather do these by yourself, you're welcome to do that too. Um, so we're going to focus on really four of them today. The first one's just going to be the clock drill. Clock drill is a drill designed to focus on your footing, to get you moving around, and to keep you, you know, bouncing on your toes um, without having to like look at the ground. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to imagine that you got an analog clock uh, swinging around you where 12 is in front of you and 6 is behind you. That puts 3 to your right and 9 to your left. Okay, so basically what just you just do is either have somebody call out a time for you where you're bouncing, right, 1 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 3 o'clock, whatever, bouncing around, keeping your feet moving around. Uh, now when you're doing that, if you, you can add in a couple things, like if you get an odd number, you do two punches. If you get an even number, you do a front kick. Um, or if it says 12 o'clock, jump, and you throw a front kick, and you come back. Maybe 3 o'clock, jump over, you do two punches, you come back. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of both of those today. Uh, our pendulum drill, if you weren't here for our sparring episode, basically all I did was I tied a um, piece of paracord up with a washer and a nut to give it a little bit of mass. Um, but you could do this with anything. Honestly, if I wanted to, I could use my... Uh, I can use a jump rope for this. Um, bring my sparring gear, hand pads with me. Right, but anything that is a string with a little bit of a weight at the end. So if you've already got something, you know, a, a speed rope or something to that effect, um, or you know, as I said, you can make one of these. This this was just stuff I found around my house. It doesn't have to be paracord. It could be dental floss even, really. You just have to modify your weight so it's not too heavy for the string. Then all I did was found a thumbtack, stuck it in the ceiling. Um, and you can adjust this so that it sits, you know, whether it's your solar plex height or face height, you know, whichever one you want to work on. Uh, for me today, we're going to be doing a little bit more mobile stuff. I want to, <clears throat> I want this to be closer to my, my solar plex. So I'm going to bring this a little bit lower. Um, so that it actually lines up with like the middle of my chest. Um, with this one, you can do a couple things nice and easy. If it's swinging, you're going to dodge, dodge, and just practice moving out of the way. You can throw a couple punches or kicks as you're dodging. Right, if I'm doing it this way, right, I'm dodging, dodging, I'm paying attention to where it's going, right, but I don't have to watch it the whole time. And the, the goal is to keep that from hitting you. Uh, another fun thing that you can do with this type of tool is throw your techniques and work out your focus, right, so that you can come close, but don't necessarily hit it, okay? Um, the last thing we're going to work today is a targeting drill. Um, now I got a couple pictures I'm going to put up here, but um, I've got my heavy bag set up with number tape on it. Uh, there's no specific numbers that you need to have. Mine happens to have six, one for each temple, one for the solar plex, one for each floating rib, one for the groin. Okay. Um, so when I'm doing stuff for that, that's where I'm going to be. If uh, I'll throw up a picture right here. This is uh, another option if you don't have a heavy bag. This is just four pieces of paper with numbers taped on them. Now, this is a door frame, so I would suggest not putting them directly in front of the door frame, but you can get creative with this. Uh, you can cut out holes in your paper so you have something to punch through. You can just have the paper there so you punch it and it comes back and makes a noise. Whatever you want to do, um, I'll leave that up to you guys. But um, the goal for today is to do five minutes of each. Okay, so for, um, you know, if you're training by yourself, you want to do five minutes of each one, keep it moving, keep it moving. If you're doing uh, 
with me, we're actually going to be switching between them every minute um, to do something else. We're going to go in an order, okay? So if you're going to do it with me, what I suggest is get your, uh, your pendulum hung up, get your numbers so that they line up with your pendulum because we're going to be doing both of those at the same time. Obviously, it still needs to be able to swing, so I wouldn't put them too close, but uh, keep them where they can reach. And uh, once you get that all set up, we'll be ready to go. Okay, now that you've got your space set up, uh, now we can get our app set up. So again, I'm going to be using this HIIT interval training app. It works pretty well for me. Um, how I have it set up here is uh, we're going to be doing uh, one minute of work, five seconds of rest, and 20 rounds okay so it's going to be clock drill pendulum drill targeting drill and then a little bit of um, both the pendulum and the targeting drill so that makes 20 rounds okay four of each one i have it set up like this this can be loud i can set it down off to the side keeps me moving um and so if you're not doing with me you know if you're pausing the video or whatever um you can take that you know take this app set it up for yourself and just keep going throughout it. If you want to do it longer than 20 minutes, you want that longer workout, feel free to do it. This is just giving us a little bit of a taste of moving around um, with some stuff that isn't necessarily under our control, um, which is what sparring is at its essence. So without any further to do, we'll get this thing started. Uh, we're going to start off with the clock drill and uh, I'll be calling out some numbers for you. We're waiting for the second go. So I'll start bouncing. One o'clock, five o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, eleven o'clock, four o'clock, three o'clock, midnight, one o'clock, seven, nine, four, twelve. One, ten, four, eight, three, midnight, one, two, seven, eight, four, ten, five, eleven, midnight, six, keep bouncing, one, four, six, Seven, one, three. All right, that's it. So next we're moving on to our pendulum drill. So we're gonna start this swing. Dodge, dodge. All right, we're starting easy the first one. It's just getting the movements in there, okay? However you gotta move to get this moving, All right? Get it moving again. All right, if you wanna mix it, mix it up, make it a little bit harder, get a little angle going on it. Right? Get yourself moving around this thing. Wherever you gotta go, give it a little extra energy. Keep going. We got 30 seconds. Keep that going. All right, targets. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's mix it up. Three, four, two, four, five. One, five, three, six, six, six. Three, two, one, one, four, five, six, three, two, one, four, five, six, three, three, two, one, one, four, three, three, two, five, five, six, six, three, two, 
Pendulum moving around two, three, one. Get that pendulum, keep it swinging. Five, four, six, three, one, two, four, three, five, six, four, three, one. Two, three, five, four, three, six, one, three, two, five, three, six, three, and keep going. Four. All right, good. Back to our clock. All right, now get your body moving. I'm gonna start giving it, every time you go to an odd number, it's two punches. Every time you go to an even number, it's a front kick. Ready? Go, 12, six, one, five, three, 10, 11, six, five, seven, my bad. One, three, two, six, midnight, one, seven, four, three, nine, midnight, six, seven, three, Good. All right, moving on. Pendulum. Just keep that thing moving. So now when you're gonna dodge in it, throw your punches, throw your kicks, keep that thing in your eyesight so you know where it's at, right? Even if it's a duck, I wanna know where it's at. Right, and keep it moving with some speed. If it starts slowing down, speed it back up. Give it some angles, make it go erratic. Just don't let it hit you. Keep it up 10 seconds. Keep it up 10 seconds. Good, back to our numbers. Three, four, five, six, two, one, 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 two, three, four, five, six. All right, do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, six, five, four, three, three, two, one. Good, three, three, five, four, six. Six, six, three, two, one, 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 three, three, four, four, one, one, three, three, five, one, two, three, three, one, one, four, five, one, four, five, three, three, two, one, three. Keep going. One, one, one. for this round. Moving everything. Ready? One, three, three, four, two, three, five, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, four, five, four, four, three, one, 
two, three, five, four, six, three, one, two, four, five, three, three, one, two, one, one, three, five, four, six, six, three, four. All right, get ready. Back to clock. Remember, odds and evens. All right, get that bounce in. We're halfway done. Six, five, three, twelve, nine, eleven, four, seven, eight, three, two. Put them all together there. Four. 11, 11, 12, 1, 3, 5, 6, 6, get both those legs working, 3, 9, 2, 4, good. All right, next pendulum. Remember, get your punches in there. All right, if you gotta change the height a little bit so it makes it harder for you. Do it. Try to chase it in and lean back, all right? So if it's coming in, I want to punch, punch. If it's coming back, I might lean, get out of the side, punch, kicks out of this way, right? That's a good rule of thumb. If it's coming at you, lean. If it's going away, chase it. Finish up. All right, back to the targets. All right, get back on it. Let's get it done. Five, five, four, three, six, six, three, four, four, one, 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 two, two, three, five, four, six, three, four, one, one, four. One, four, two, five, two, five, three, 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 one, 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 four, one, five, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, two, one, one, three, two, two, five, three, 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 six, 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 four, one, one, two, Three, four, three, four, five. Three, four, five, one. Three, four, five, one. Three, three. Three, three. All right, get them all. All right, get that thing moving. Four, three, one, one. Keep going, keep going. Two, three, four, four, six, three, three, four, four. There we go. One, one, three, three, four. One, one, two, three, 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 four, three, five, three, five, one, two, 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 three, six. One, three, six. One, three, six, four. Or one, three. One, four, three, six. We'll get it. Three. One. Two. Three, four. Five. Five. Six, six. Three. All right, last round. Make it the strongest one yet. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Ready? 
One. Five. Three. Nine. Twelve. Two. Four. Six. Ten. Two. Three. Nine. Four. Five. Eleven. Eleven. Eleven, twelve. Two, three. One. Five. Seven. Eight. Four. Good, last one of those. Get that pendulum going again. Keep that body moving, rocking around. Duck if you gotta. Throw your front kicks with a lean every once in a while. Don't do them just like that always, but keep your body moving, right, so that you're not getting hit by this thing. All right, whether it's dodge, kick, right, lower body basic number nine, whether it's shift, two punches, just like out of Wan Tzu, right, push block biggie punch, number 14, Challenge yourself with this thing. Comes right through its axis. If it's spinning on this line, don't spend your whole time off to the side. Get in that line. Right? Be moving around it. If it hits you, so what? You're just trying to keep it from hitting you. Keep moving. All right, hang it back up. Get these numbers. Let's do it. Five, five, four, three, two, two, one. Three, three, four, three, five, six, six, five, three, 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 four, five, three, four, one, three, two, one, 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 two, one, two, three, six, six, five, four, three, 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 four, three, five, three, one, two, one. Three six, three six, three four five, three four five, three two, three one, three four four, three four six, six six three, six five three, six five one, six one. All right, get them all. Last round, last round, make it all work. Get this moving hard. Four, three, three. One, one, three, four. One, four, three, five, two. That's right, moving the bag still not getting hit by it. One, three, three, five, four, six, two, three, two, one, one. Five, four. Three, four, three, two, one, six, three, two, one, five, 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 four, three, three, five, five, four, six, one, one, two, three, three, four, six, come on, pound it out, pound it out, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good job. Boom. All right, last round, everybody. I paused it for a second. What we're gonna do this time is every time I call an odd number, you're gonna throw any hand techniques you want. Anytime I throw an even number, you're gonna throw any foot techniques you want. When you're doing the pendulum drill, I want you to work on throwing 45 techniques, whatever they happen to be in the 60 seconds. So count them out to yourself. Uh, they can be literally whatever you want. When we get to the targeting drill, uh, I'm gonna keep doing that. And then the pendulum with the targeting drill, we're gonna try to keep a nice high number for you guys. So the clock drill and the pendulum drill change a little bit in this round, all right? On mark, get set, go. 
All right, back to bouncing. Back to bouncing. One, five, three, six, two, eleven, five, three, nine. Six, twelve, two, four, eight. Get those kicks moving. Six, twelve, one, three. All right, next one. Pendulums. Remember, trying for that number, 45 techniques, whatever they happen to be. Keep it up, 10 seconds left. Good job, all right, keep it up. Keep these numbers in here. Six, six, three, four, three, five, one, one, two, one, three, 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 four, five, three, six, six, three, five, six, Four, four, six, two, three, one, one, two, three, three, five, 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 two, one, four, four, three, three, four, five, five, four, two, 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 three, one, 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 four, three, three, three. Three, six, 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 one, three, four, three, four, one, three, five, two, three, six, six. All right, get ready. Last round, make it work, make it count. I said that before, but now I mean it. This is our five minutes. That's five rounds of one minute. One, two, three, four. Five, six, six. One, one, three, four, two, three, three, four. Five, one, one, two, three, three, four, three, four, one, three, six, six, three, four, four, three. One, one, two, one, two, three. Three, two, one. Three, six, four. Keep it up. One, two, and mate. Get yourself two claps, you're getting that done. Good job, everybody. All right, so. That's our workout for today. If you enjoyed it, feel free to do it again, all right? This kind of stuff gets you moving around a lot. It burns some extra energy if you want that workout on a nice Thursday day. It's gorgeous outside. You want to do this outside, hang something from a tree, you're more than welcome to do that, all right? Now, if you want a real challenge, hang more than one pendulum, all right? If the wind's blowing a little bit, you got two pendulums, right? You're going to be in a whole new kind of uh, dodging and ducking, all right?
but it's good for you. Build some situational awareness. Um, helps keep you focused under pressure by going after these numbers, right? When you are, you know, in a in a fight fight, you're gonna have stress. It's it's a, it's a uh, if you weren't stressed at least a little bit, uh, I would think you were dead, right? Even people who are trained fighters uh, who are in combat all the time will still feel some stress. However, they've learned how to relax into the stress, right? To relax through it, to keep their mind clear, but they're still feeling that stress, that adrenaline's still there, that's important, okay? So, the harder we push ourselves in training, the closer we can get to that in training, okay? Obviously, training and fighting are two different things, but the closer we can get in training, the better we can do in fighting. Um, Basically, the difference between training and fighting is there's always at least one thing that changes for a safety perspective, okay? AKA, if I'm fighting, somebody's actually trying to punch me in the face. If I'm sparring, maybe there's no face contact, right? That's a difference. Or there are rules to avoid what kind of contact you can and can't have. You know, that's a difference. These little changes like that make it safer for us to practice, but still get us closer to that fight for when it actually happens. Uh, for our YouTube, our public YouTube video viewers, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Um, make sure you guys check out our Patreon page. If you guys want to be part of the Shiagi Do Dojo or the Sensei Steve Says, you can go into our Patreon page, join in on our Zoom classes, join in on our, uh, you know, some uh, specialty stuff that's just for our Patreon members. If you guys are interested in doing that, depending on what tier you jump into. For our regular students, or Chicago Do students, Zoom class tomorrow, make sure you guys come to that. That one's gonna be an awesome one, Sensei Kelly Sear. I've been talking her up for the last like two weeks. She's amazing. She's one of my favorite people in the world. Uh, she's one of my favorite instructors. Uh, I've never had a bad class with her. So uh, look forward to that. Our Avatar Challenge workout is coming to a close. Yesterday was a nice stretchy day. Today's not, so make sure you're getting that in there if you're doing that. And make sure you put those uh, the Avatar sheets up where I can get at them, whether you send them directly to me or if you put them up on Facebook, on the Shiagi Do website, um, you know, just to show us that you're doing it, you're keeping up, you're working out, you're working hard, all right? Good job for that. And lastly, for my students, uh, t-shirt orders. Summer t-shirt orders are due by tomorrow at midnight. So I need to have them by Friday night at midnight um, so that I can get them ordered and stuff so we can have them for the beginning of June so that you guys can train when it gets warm outside. You don't have to be in your full geese like I am now. Other than that, I got nothing. Make sure you guys keep on sweating on. Get after it. You guys are dismissed.